What it do, y'all? What's going on out there in YouTube's worlds? In the YouTube's world, I guess y'all seen by now. Johnny done got into the bump bag. He got into the bump bag last night, early this morning, about four o'clock in this morning. Got into them bumps, did his bumps and his wife bumps. Uh, they had all the had all their bumps in there for the whole week, and he did them all. And he was up up over over at Goblin all night long. Uh. His couch is supposed to be calling. His couch is going to call here in a second. And uh, we're going to have a discussion with him. So we're waiting on that phone call right now. What's going on, people? Jamie, hello. Uh, she's tagging Rusty Truck, so he might be in here. What's up, Rusty? There he is right below. With Rusty, hello, hello. Uh, Christy Yant. The True T-Dub, Mustard Squirrel, Citizen Z. Hey, I appreciate them videos, man. I had no idea that was going on. I had no idea. I got home and started looking at the feed, and there, there he was. I was like, was that from last night? That was wild, man. Old buddy wants some attention, wasn't he? I don't think he wants his attention. He says he wants his attention, but I don't think he really wants his attention. Uh, gobbler strung out again, Tennessee knucklehead. Yeah, it sounds what it sounds like. What's up, Backyard Sports, West Virginia? They had a damn fight they posted over earlier on West Virginia Backyard Sports, XWW. I don't know why I call it West Virginia. There's two guys fighting in a basement. I swear to God, it's over right now. Two guys fighting in a basement. Uh, and I don't know if it's regulated or sanctioned or anything. Two guys fighting. In a, it may have been a large closet. Uh, Dino, 216, what it do? Megan, Red Eye. Red Eye hit a jackpot the other night. He got to go up on up on the live and talk with the church man. And then at the end of his interview, he's over doing plugs, plugging people's channels. And I think he got paid for it. I gotta skip some, I gotta skip some names and come down here to the beginning. Uh Jessica Pettis, hello. Mr. Hooden, what it do, man? Hope everybody had a, a Merry Christmas. Uh reaching hard for sure. He said he'd be looking, he said he'd be looking for that strike. Well. He took it down. That's so funny. He goes on them rants and then immediately takes them down. Old Bird had it on her uh, stream, too. She had the whole thing, but a lot of people talking over it. I might have to get that whole thing from you, man, because I'm sure it was real interesting. And I seen somebody somebody commented, said, uh, 12 news, a snake all along. Said, 12 point news, a snake all along. Let me say this right here. I think everybody knew that he was a snake all along, but... Uh, Sometimes people like to give people second chances, and I think that's what happened. What happened over there? And look, these are just my opinions. I don't know. I don't know the truth. Uh, I got to skip names. I got to go all the way to the bottom again. Jerry, what up, Jerry? Jerry's got a... Uh, I don't even know what you're selling tonight, Jerry. What you What you selling tonight? Sometimes you can pet a snake. Uh, yeah, I hope everybody had a happy Christmas, a safe Christmas. Christmas is always weird for me, man. Uh, Christmas has never been really <clears throat> special for me. It's just another day, really. Uh, yeah, over threatening people with lawsuits. Listen, John, here I got a content idea for you, bud. While we wait on your couch to call, while we wait on your couch to call, I got a content idea for you. <clears throat> He's over talking about filing charges on somebody. Hell, you didn't even know it was a charge or a complaint. You didn't even know what to call it. This is what I want you to do, though. You do this for me. I know you're already going to have that phone out when you go in there to file them charges or whatever you're going to file on a man. This is what I want you to do. I want you to record that judge or the attorney's reaction when you tell him what you're filing a charge for. Tell him you're filing a charge on a man because he left his home state in America. Left Tennessee and went to another state in America. I don't know if you know this, you fucking idiot, but you can go to another state. There ain't no problem with that. And he was actually doing them a courtesy, pulling up in that little town. They said, hey, I'm going to do a meet and greet over here. Why was he up there to begin with, you idiot? He was up there, he was up there his mom was up there filing a complaint because you was talking all vulgar. You better back you, you better back your ass up. You better pump them brakes a little bit, you idiot. You don't want his attention. 
I promise you that. Stupid idiot got into all the bumps again. I can't wait till this couch calls, man. I can't believe the couch even got a phone. That's crazy. Couch got a phone up there at his house. Unbelievable. I'm about to call him if he don't. If he don't call me, I'm about to call him. See what this idiot's doing. I got him stored on my phone as Johnny's. Let me turn this down one second. I'm gonna store it in my phone as Johnny's couch. I talked to him earlier. Hell, he was out of breath. He said Johnny been sitting on him all day long. That's what he said. He said Johnny been sitting on him all day long. All right, here we go. I think he gave me a text now number. I don't know what the hell this idiot's doing with the cell phone anyway. The damn couch with the cell phone. Hell, they all got cell phones up there. To do some adjusting, some rearranging here for this phone call. Uh... Where is it at, man? He called me from a couple of different numbers, this couch has. It's ringing. I guess we we'll put this on speaker, huh? Hey, Mike. Mike, hold on one second. Hey, bud. I got you on speaker. We're live right now. You all right, man? Woo. You, you all right, man? You sound like you out of breath. What's going on over there, man? I'm good, Mike. He's just been sitting here on me all day long. He hasn't done anything. It's about like every other day. I'm yeah. wore out, too. Yeah, you sound like you wore out. He just been sitting there on you all day, huh? About like every other day. Probably over farting on you all day. That's disgusting. Well, man, uh, man, it's, uh, listen, I've never interviewed a couch before. I'll be straight up with you. Never interviewed a couch before. It's probably a first for YouTube interviewing a couch. I'm going to set this phone down right here. I think everybody can hear you. Uh, you want to tell us a little bit about yourself, man? I mean, I, a lot of, I honestly don't believe these people even think that I'm actually talking to a couch. Tell us a little bit about yourself, bud. Yeah, yeah, sure, Mike. My name's Bart, and uh, I'm Johnny Gobble's couch. Bart? And uh, I'm a heavy-duty couch, industrial strength couch. Uh, he basically sits here on me all day long. <clears throat> Smoky in here. Uh, but, yeah, I'm just Johnny Gobble's couch, basically. You, you say it's smoky. I guess it's always smoky in there, huh? Uh, hey, man, look, I didn't even think he was going to call for real. I don't even know what to ask you, man, so. Just curious, what is like a typical day for, you say your name was Bart. What's a typical day for Johnny's uh, Johnny Gobble's couch? Bart is so he calls himself. Yeah, Mike, typical day for me uh, involves him waking up on me. Yeah. And he can wake up at any time of the day. It depends on how much bump he's taking. Oh. And uh, it never fails. About 3 a.m., 4 a.m., he'll start tearing my pillows apart looking for another bump. Oh, no. And Mike, there ain't been a bump in this couch since... 2018. Don't took the man's pillows off. He's taking all the bumps out. He's in there snorting uh uh Taco Bell meat. Oh my god. Crunched up Taco Bell meat Cheetos. He'd be in there snorting anything, hoping there's a little bit of a bump in there. Man, that's you hate to hear that, man. In there's in there snorting everything you got in there in your interior guts. That's gotta be awkward, him running that straw all over the place. They probably tickle you every now and then. That's crazy, man. So he he'd be in there looking for a bump after he done looked for uh in the same area for a bump, you know, three or four nights in a row. That's crazy. He goes back to the same spots. Down there snorting Taco Bell, dried up Taco Bell meat. I don't even know what's in that stuff. In that stuff, man, Taco Bell meat. Uh hell man, what'd you do today? I mean, what's a just curious, what did you do today? What the hell kind of question is that, Mike? I'm a couch. What yeah. do you think I've done all day? I've sat here. 
Hell, this eighty eight F all day. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that was that was kind of a dumb question to ask what a couch does all day. Yeah, that was dumb on my part, man. Uh hell, I don't know, man. What do you do for fun? What does Johnny Gobble's couch do for fun, bud? Well, sometimes, Mike, uh, when it's just me and him here, yeah. I'll uh I'll let that recliner out over and he'll go, Oh, somebody hacked my couch. Somebody hacked my couch. Oh, Mike, you gotta see it. You have to see it. I have to record it sometime. I, oh, I don't man. even have a phone. Never mind. I can't I can't record it. But you have to see it sometime, man. It's it's gold. Somebody hacked my couch, is what he'll say. Oh, it's gold, man. <laughs> somebody done hacked his couch. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. He said somebody was hacking his toilet the other day. Somebody done hacked his dehumidifier. Somebody hacked his steps. Hey, he be talking about. Uh, they hacking everything going on over there. That's crazy. He always talking about somebody. Yeah, hacking. yeah, yeah. He uh, he, you know, he's always. <coughs> you all right, bud? <coughs> you good? He's <coughs> smoky, huh? He's always smoking in here. That's why I'm coughing right now. Yeah. And uh, he ran out of fluid in his lighter the other day. He said, "Oh, somebody hacked my lighter. Oh. Somebody hacked my lighter." Is what he was telling his old lady. Yeah. And hell, she knows he's, I mean, she's dumb as hell too, but she knows that he's really dumb. So it's, yeah. you know, me and her kind of laugh together sometimes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just can't laugh too hard because her teeth will fall out sometimes. Oh, hell, her teeth fell out because she was laughing too hard on life and her teeth fell out. Man, don't be telling me that kind of stuff, man. I'll take the clip, though. If you got the clip, I'll take it. You send me that clip. I'll look at it, man, maybe twice. That's crazy. Let me call you. Let me call you back, man. Johnny's Johnny's calling me. I'll I'll call you right back, bud. Can't believe I just interviewed a couch. We got Johnny. He called me right now, huh? Baby, come on. Come on, Melinda. Come on. Please let me drive. It's a butt call. I know it's your car. Let me drive just one time. I haven't got to drive since last weekend. Let me drive one time, please. Oh no. I'll put some gas in there. I'll put five dollars in there. Guess it's two fifty. I put five dollars in there. Let me drive. Come on, baby. Let me drive. I don't feel comfortable. Fine, you drive then. Can I drive on the way back? I'm not. I listen. I, I'm not comfortable listening to that right there. They liable to say some stuff in there we don't want to hear. Uh, it sounds like they is going to the store. So we'll check back in on just a second, man. You I ain't no telling what you hear them say. Man, butt dialed me. That's crazy, man. I'll check back in on them here in a second. But I don't, I don't like listening to people's conversations, man, when they don't know. And they, they talk about some crazy stuff over there. Uh, Art Gator, what's going on? Is there, is there, she got blue, oh, man, got a blue, set of Bluetooth dentures. Uh, Megan Stone, Ben Thriffin. Grim, what up? What it do, Grim? Uh, gas two ninety eight here in New Jersey. It's about two fifty down here, somewhere in there. He said five dollars, so that's a couple, couple. I sh I feel bad even listening as much as I did. Honestly, I feel a little bad listening uh as much as I did. I'm gonna listen to it a little more here in just a second, though. Ray Dyer. Right there, Taco Bell meat. Yeah, that stuff's disgusting. He said he was over snorting Taco Bell meat. Somebody hacked his free beer minimum. Said he said somebody hacked his wallpaper. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. I'm gonna listen to a little bit more of this butt call. Y'all don't judge me for listening to this, man. Don't judge me for listening to this right here, but I'm going to unmute for just a second. Hey, burn. Let me at least borrow $3. They got a deal in there on Mel Yellow right now, and I can only get one. Let me borrow $3. They got a deal in there on Mel Yellow right now. You buy two for the first one, you get the second one, same price as you buy the first one, baby. What? Come on. Can, can I have your change? You got any change? Oh, this Look in that door over there. See if there's any change in oh, that door over there. Come on, man. Come on. 12, I want, give, me the, give me that diamond two pennies. Baby. Come on, man. Come on now. 
I know you got a one in there I can borrow. I'm not listening to this, man. That's embarrassing. I'm not listening to that stuff, man. That's embarrassing, man. I would if that was me, I wouldn't want y'all to hear it. If that was you, would you want us to hear you begging your old lady for, for some change? You get a deal on a mellow yellow? I feel a, a 199% dumber after every time I listen to God. You should you should feel smarter. You guys, full blooded idiot. Full blooded idiot. I know you're over watching too, Johnny. I know all y'all got to sitting around with you, your camera, your uh, with your phone, trying not to laugh. Can you believe I interviewed the couch, man? He's going. I'm gonna call him back. I'm gonna call him back. I'm on the phone with you right now, though, idiot. You didn't even know it, Johnny. Johnny, I'm here, man. Hello, Johnny. Mike. Yeah. Hello. I'm here, man. Mike. How I'm here. Hold on. I'm going to the store to get a Mellow Yellow right now. I got a deal on a buy one, get one second price, the same as two. Let me, I'm going to let you talk to Melinda for a second. Hold on. That's, no, no, no. I don't talk to her. for a second, Mike. I don't Hold wanna, on. I don't want to talk to her, man. I don't think it's a deal on Mellow Yellow. Either, Baby baby boy. <laughs> I missed you. Oh. Uh, Melinda, look, man, I'm, I'm on live right now. There's people listening to us. You're a married woman. Let me just break this down for a second. You're a married woman, right? Rule number one, you're married. You don't need to be talking to me dirty like you talk to me all the time. Somebody, oh, I can't wait to get you alone. I bet you look good in the Speedo. Uh, what size shoe do you wear? I heard, you know, I heard what they said about people with big feet. Don't be talking to me like that, man. I don't like listening to dirty talk anyways. And you're married. And then sometimes you do it right there in front of your husband. I don't want to hear any of that dirty talk now. Come on. Mike, I'm done chasing you. Okay. But I do got one thing to tell you, and right. I don't want you to forget it. All right. I've got a nine-inch tongue. Blah, 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 oh, God. Blah. Oh, what? Oh, I can't listen. A nine-inch tongue? That's disgusting. I'm not listening to that stuff, man. A nine-inch tongue? Oh, my gosh, man. Oh, oh man how do you unhear something a nine inch tongue that's where do you hide all that in your mouth at golly a nine inch tongue that's disgusting man i've got a vid there's an image in my head of a nine inch tongue hanging out of your mouth that's ugh. that's disgusting man Absolutely disgusting. A nine inch tongue. I'm gonna call Johnny's couch back. I'm not talking to her anymore, though. She's always talking dirty to me. And I'm not into dirty talk. Disgusting. A nine inch tongue, man. I'm gonna ask that couch about that. I'm gonna call that couch back and ask him about that. Dummy. A nine inch tongue. That's disgusting, man. I, I ugh, man, I've got an image of that in my head right now, man, and I cannot get it out. That's disgusting, man. A nine inch tongue. All right. I'm gonna call this uh couch. Call this couch back for a second after I spit this tobacco out of my mouth. That's gross, man. I wonder if he knew that she had a nine-inch tongue when he married her. Maybe. Maybe that's why she's staying with him. And she lets him sit on the couch all day long and smoke up all the cigarettes, do all the bumps, because she's got a nine-inch tongue. Let me see that tongue ring. Is it rusty? Said she had a nine-inch tongue ring and a and a rusty and also with a rusty tongue ring. What does that even mean? A rusty tongue ring? I don't want to hear that stuff. Well, well, well. What it do? Mustard squirrel, little buddy, worky verse. We about to call Johnny Gobble's couch back. We was talking to him earlier and uh, Johnny butt dialed me. He's over asking his wife for three dollars so he get a deal on a mail of yellow, begging his wife to drive the car. 
So, oh, baby, I haven't drove since last weekend is what he said. And I don't even think he asked her if he could drive it then. A nine-inch tongue, man. Yeah, I can't get that out of my head, a nine-inch tongue. I'm going to I'm gonna have to ask him about that right there. Y'all like my thumbnail? That's got to be a picture of the year Johnny Gobble wearing a shirt that says Hustler on it or Hustler, whatever it says. What an oxymoron that is. Get this guy's number. Idiot looks like he steals from the Dollar General. Talking about you, Johnny. Look like you steal from the Dollar General. Look like you wear them uh, long gas shorts and ones that like they got their basement in the bottom of them, like O'Cashel wears them long gas shorts. Them ankle shorts. Got a basement in them, son. See what this guy's got to say right here. It's disgusting. Bart, what it do, man? Hey, uh, dude, did you know that Melinda has a nine inch tongue? I guess I should put you on the speaker, huh? Hold on, man. Hold on. Put you on speaker. Did you know that uh, Melinda's got a nine-inch tongue, dude? Oh, yeah. You didn't know she's got a nine-inch tongue? Oh, yeah, dude. It's Sometimes when she's watching TV, she'll forget and let that thing hang out of her mouth, man. It's disgusting and hot as hell at the same time, oh, dude. Oh, my it's, God. It's a sight to see. I have to take a picture for you sometime. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. I don't, I, I don't have a phone. Yeah, yeah, man. Don't, I don't want to see that stuff, dude. I don't want to see that. Actually, if you get a picture of it, I'll I'll take it, man. Uh, I'll look. I will look at it just to see if it's real. See if it's been photoshopped. I won't look at it real close, though. I'll look at it from a distance just to make sure it's real, dude. Uh, I'm gonna call you back, dude, because uh, I'm st I still got a vision of a nine-inch tongue in my head, dude. Let me say that a nine-inch tongue. That's disgusting. And her teeth fell out on live. Said she was laughing so hard her teeth fell out. That's what the couch said. I didn't say that. Y'all heard the couch say that. And I look, the couch has never lied to me. What up, Omnia Shadow? Somebody sent some money in here. I got to go scroll up here for a second. The truth. $2. Uh, 12 point for every damn district. Thank you, sir. That's all districts. Every district is all of them. Omnia Shadows, what it do? Uh, Megan Stone, your boy Blue's in here. What up, your boy Blue? Third Eye Blind, Third Eye Reactions, and Third Eye's a, a member over there. He's a member over there, and I was watching, reading the chat over, and it, Johnny was giving him a hard time, and he's one of your members. I want to know, Johnny, what are the what are the benefits of being in your membership club over there? Carolina, what it do? That's what I want to know, Johnny. What is your benefits? And I want a list, man. I seen you had to post, had the gall to post that that painting up over and ask for $125 for it. That ship's on sale, man. You done burn that bridge. You idiot. I want you to think about this for a second, Johnny. While we wait on somebody to call, hopefully Melinda will call us back or something. And I don't like when she talks already to me, but I will listen. Uh, Johnny, you done got let off the hook once, bud. The people was real nice to you. Somebody spent some more money. So uh, the truth, did you leave a message? He just sent $5. He didn't even, he didn't even want to leave a message. That's very kind of you, sir. You got let off the hook last time, man. You was over running your mouth, ran your mouth for about six months, and you rolled over and played victim. And a few people showed love to you. It was very kind to you. And I felt like, and look, again, this is just my opinion. This is just my opinion, bud, but it kind of felt like people was letting you off the hook. They was giving you a second chance. You got 9,000 subs gifted to you, bud. Go do something with it, man. He cannot hold your hand. He can't hold our hands. 
That man give you 9,000 subs. People grind for years and don't get 9,000 subs. Johnny, I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say. You put in a lot of you put in a lot of hard work for them 9,000 subs. Put in a lot of I know you wrote down a bunch of content. Had a bunch of ideas that you wrote down. All that editing you did. All that hard work. You just got on there and ran your mouth for six months is all you did. And the funny part is, Johnny, is normally when that man goes after people, he leaves the name out so he doesn't promote them. But he promoted you because you're such an idiot. He wanted you, he wanted everybody to see how dumb you are. And you are one of the dumbest. And I've seen, I've seen them all. I've looked, man, far and wide, far and wide for dumb people. And you're the dumbest I've come across by far. Oh, Melinda's calling us back. Let me see what she's got to say. Melinda, you there? Hey, Mike, it's Melinda again. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. Hold on. Just Don't do that to tongue more stuff thing. again, man. Nine inch chunks. Ah, oh, ah, hell, I can't ah. listen to that, man. I'm blocking her number. That's disgusting, a nine inch tongue, man. Absolutely disgusting. Yeah, he turned his memory. <laughs> Man's got membership, son. He got both hands out. Give me, 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 give me. Lazy bastard. I'm gonna send you a link, Johnny. I'm gonna post something in my community tab. It's uh probably snag a job or indeed or something like that. I look for you today, man. 7 Eleven's hiring. There's all kinds of places up there hiring, man. And you can probably make more an hour than what you make in a video. If y'all don't know what's going on here, he's uh he's back running his mouth again. That same old stuff, trying to get somebody's attention, John. And, and look, man, I think everybody here knows as well as I do, you don't really want his attention. You don't want all that comes with that, man. Don't you remember how, how last year went? How you was down and out? Take your 9,000 subs and go do something, man. And look, you've got you've to give up on this getting rich scheme. This whole idea of getting rich. And by the way, your community post, you said, I told you I'll be getting rich soon. No, you said you would be rich by the end of the year, you idiot. And I will, I will forever hold that clip dear to my heart. Because you really believed it. When you say that in them clips, I'll be rich by the end of this year, you really believed it. You thought that you was just going to get a bunch of subs on YouTube and then every video you made it, regardless of how stupid it was, regardless of how clueless you looked, that however many subs you got would immediately go watch that video. And it doesn't work that way, man. And you could, by the way, you can only tag a man so many times before people just realize it's a bunch of nonsense. You realize that? You need to back up, man. You're going down the wrong path you barking up the wrong tree and look i can make videos in for days man but i need to i need to raise that that level of difficulty i feel like i'm playing on a rookie or easy 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 at max probably a rookie level you make this way too easy man i've got to uh raise my difficulty level but i i can sit here and get views on you all year if you want to do that if you want to go down that path we can do that man i would rather not for your sake, I would rather not. Uh, three beer minimum, and he's three beers deep sending me money. Uh, I said I would be a millionaire before I turned 47, but I only made half my gold. I turned 47. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, I read a comment, man. Some of the comments on his channel, the old videos of his, some of the best comments you'll ever read in your life are on his channel. Somebody said that uh, this is a this is early on in the feud. Johnny said he's at, uh, they said that Johnny's at a in a battle of wits, but he's unarmed or something like that. I don't know. You'd have to read it. Uh, one hundred thirty three in there. Yeah, we about to, we about to we about to get out of here. That was all I got. That was all I got. But look, Johnny, we'll make this a regular thing if you want to. And this is easy stuff, man. This is easy. I just saw that you post. I just saw that you went live like maybe two hours ago, earlier this morning. This was easy stuff, bud. 
You make it too easy. Every line in the house is gone. It's almost four o'clock and my wife will be home. Front walks where I hide my baggy in pipe. It's kind of like staying up for three or four nights. Every line in the house is gone. Please don't be mad at me when you get home. Because I did every line in the house, including the one that was in the couch. It's disgusting, man. Tearing that couch apart, looking for bumps all the time. That's disgusting. You shouldn't be doing that, man. Get yourself together. Grow up. Stop looking for handouts. Do something with your channel, Johnny. You've been gifted 9K. Go do something with it. And back up off that uh that talk you that you've been running. You make, look, you don't want to go down that path. I appreciate y'all. I'm about to get out of here. Uh I love y'all. Hope y'all had a Merry Christmas. Johnny will be visiting us soon. I don't know. It may be, it may be New Year's. It may be day after New Year's. I don't know. We can do this all day, Johnny. Love y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good evening. Ben Thrift and Jamie, we love you, baby. And you're winking at me right now, and I'm blushing. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm blushing. Eric B., you take it easy, bud. Little buddy, what it do? Uh, 12 point, much love. Much love to you, sir. Oh, ain't that a shame? He's what? I, yeah, I mean, what else is he going to be doing? It's what he does. He keeps an eye on YouTube and waits for mail. Look, I don't know if y'all seen the mail he got, but y'all see them commercials, them terrible commercials? Bye, Megan. We'll see. Uh, those terrible commercials that come on real early in the morning where, uh, have you, have you, uh, you know, did you use Nair shampoo in the late nineties and lose half? It's always something stupid, outrageous. Well, he, he thinks that since he had a run with opiates for a few years, he's going to get a check from the pharmaceutical company. You're such an idiot, man. You're so stupid. Think you're going to get rich off a pharmaceutical check. Like he's already betting on it. All right, we're going to get out of here. I love y'all guys. I'll see y'all soon. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll throw something quick together tomorrow. Too easy. Y'all be good. God bless y'all.